Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. My name's Smitty. Um, if you're new to the channel, uh, thank you for stopping by. If you're an existing subscriber, thanks for sticking with me. Uh, we're in the middle of a 4L60E overhaul and doing some upgrades to it all at the same time. Uh, this one had some damage in it from a previous repair. Uh, anyway, we're not concerned with that. We're just going to make it right. Anyway, uh, last video we got the input housing put together and uh, did the clutch check on all the on all the clutches in there. Made sure they had the right clearance. Um, so we got that done and. Today is the day that we're going to put the uh, start assembly in the case. So we'll see how far we can get in the time allotted and uh, go for there. So if you're ready, so am I. Let's get going. Alright, I, I had to turn my fan off. It was uh, blowing right on the mic. So I figured you guys wouldn't want to hear that. So it'll get pretty warm out here pretty quick. Hopefully before it gets too hot this summer, I'll put an air conditioner out here. That'd be nice. Anywho, we're going to start with this low reverse piston, which is this dude here. So we need to find the seal rings for it. Okay, we're done with the bushing driver stuff, so let's put that up. Alright. The low reverse piston seals usually comes in a pack all of its own. I say usually. Depends on uh, who the kit's made by. But uh, they're all, the low reverse has got all square cut rings, which means it doesn't have a lip on it. Here's one of them. There's another one. Should be three total. Uh, that should be the third one right there. Yep. All right. Make sure and give this a little love with some trans gel or whatever you're using. I really like this blue Smart Blend. Man, this stuff is great. And it's it's a lower melting point. I don't really care for the assembly goo. At least I don't like the green assembly goo. Uh, it's, it's rather stout. This stuff melts a lot faster when you get um, when you get the uh, fluid against it. it takes less of the time to dissolve but I always like to like I said I always like to uh, get my seals lubed on both sides because it keeps them from binding in the in the piston <laughs> Got your seals in there. I still like to put a bunch on it, especially on this one because this this uh, is probably the hardest piston to get in for the fact it is square cut and it's a tight fit. All right, got that all lubed up. All right, you want to lube all of your surface down here there is three of them make sure and get 
a good supply of it on there. Because like I said, this is the worst one to get in and, the, and the, the better lubrication you got, the easier it is to slide that piston in. Okay, now this piston has a cutout in it right here. That cutout is for the parking pole. So it's also the, the piston will actually, you'll be able to feel it, it only want to go in there one way. So set that dude down in there. Now once you get it down in there, you can feel it. It'll want to stop in one spot. Once it stops in one spot, you know that that's where it needs to go. And uh, just give her a good, uh, a good push. One thing that also helps is if you've got your your uh, mouse trap. Let me get a bigger one. Put your mouse trap in there like that, and use the butt end of a hammer. And just kind of smack it a couple of times. And it's in there, just like that. Okay, then you get your your return spring. It goes down in there like that. You need to find your snap ring. That should be this spring right here. Make sure that you're down far enough so you can get your snap ring in there. And I am. So slide your snap ring down in there. Commence to snapping. It helps if you have a screwdriver that you can push down on the back side of it while you're putting the snap ring in. This is another one of those be patient springs. Because you're in a confined area.
and it never likes to cooperate. There we go. It's in there. All right. Okay, so there's that one. All right, so now it's time to build the low reverse clutch. Um, to start with, we're gonna put our uh, parking pole assembly in. You're also going to want to put a bucket underneath of your output shaft because now that we're getting ready to put clutches and all sorts of stuff in there, you're going to need it. All right, so it takes one of these bearings, it's black on one side just silver on the other. Before you get started, again, take some trans gel, lube up your output bushing. Now hold this bearing on there. Smear some trans gel on either side. The silver side goes towards the part the black side goes down slide that over there smush it on there and it'll stay on there when you put it down in there just like that okay now the next piece is going to be your low roller assembly um, same thing it's got a bearing in here and since I can't really get to that and I don't want it to be it dry what I usually do is I'll dip this in transmission fluid okay now it's gonna have another bearing and it should be that one there which if you look at this one it's got a lip on it see the lip that lip goes down so let's dip this in fluid what that does is that assures you that the, the planetary is not dry And that's the reason why I put the bucket underneath there, because it will drip out the bottom. Uh, smear another little dab of trans gel on either side. Smush your bearing on there. And go ahead and set that down in there. Just like that. All right, now we're ready to build our low reverse clutch. Now these steels have an index mark on them. And you see that notch right there? Oops, stuck in my light. that notch get to where you guys can see it right there that goes in the bottom of the case and there's a big gap opening like right here so that big gap goes in the big opening 
just like that. So the big gap actually is gonna go, or the notch is gonna go right here and the big gap is right here, okay? So the one I just put in there was a wave plate, so we need a steel. Again, notch, and then goes down in there. Okay, now we need our steels, or our fibers rather. And get a fiber. Get a steel. I hope we got it upside down. There's a steel, there's another fiber. Steel. Sorry about me bumping the camera. Fiber. Steel. Fiber. Steel, fiber. Okay, now that you got your clutch built, you need to put your spring in there before you go any further. Your any rattle clip, it's a, it's a spring. You can put it in afterwards, but it sure makes it a heck of a lot easier to do it now. This doodad here. It makes it keep it keeps it from going clunk when you put it in gear. And this thing has got a cutout on this side right here. You can see it. There's a spot in the case that's more towards the bottom that that thing will sit. So just put it in there. Goes in there like this. Just like that. And the last piece is your pressure plate and your low roller sprag. It has a big opening in it right here that coincides with that big bar there. Touchdown. All right, that's in there. Okay, so now you take your your big ring and you want to space this opening right where that spring is. So I would roughly say it's about 530 in the case. There you go. If you look down in here, the gap is right there 
in that opening I was telling you about. So that's that. All right, now you can air check your your low reverse. There's a hole down here on the case side, down here at the very bottom. There's actually like three of them at the bottom. There's one right next to a big check ball on the left hand side down near the rear. And that's your, your low reverse piston. Sounds good. No leak. All right. All right, the next thing you need to put in is your sun gear. So, there's your sun gear. Need to lube the bushing up. Get a critter trying to fly in my ear. Put that down in there, like so. Then, being as this has got an updated shell, this will take a, uh, this takes a Torrington bearing. Normally there'd be a black thrust washer that sits there, but. Being as this is a uh, updated shell design, it uses the Torrington bearing instead. So put that down in there shell down in there like that then comes your uh, reaction carrier shaft again lube the bushings lube the shaft there lube that bushing in there Then that goes down in there, like so. Okay, now you have your upper to upper planetary set, which same thing. Since I can't, uh, I use a dip these in fluid, which I will do the same thing. And that's why I put the, uh, this one also will have a bearing on it. Take your little trans gel, smear it on there. Black side goes away from it, so we got the shiny side towards the, the part. And that is the wrong bearing. There we go. Down it goes. Okay, last thing is last, or whatever you want, to, however you want to put it. I'll slide your main shaft back up, your output shaft back up in through there. And then you need to find your, and normally those wouldn't stay in there. I'll just tell you that heads up. The only reason why it's staying in there now is the fact that uh, the bushings are new and so she's a little sticky. Alright, so you need to find your ring. The only reason why I didn't see it is it's not colored. Like I said, the ones from the factory are usually colored. They're usually yellow. So you can see them this one is not but that's your that's your ring for your retainer okay you'll have to push up on your output shaft a little bit and then just push your snap ring back down in the groove just like that and it's in there all right y'all that's it for putting the bottom half of the case together. Uh, tomorrow, we'll uh, 
we'll put the top half of the case together. And uh, a couple of things I got to show you there. So if you liked what you've seen, make sure to come back tomorrow to continue with the build. If you liked what you've seen again, uh, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get notified when the next video comes out. And uh, please uh, share and uh, comment, spread it with your friends, share it with your friends. Um, it really helps, believe it. So with that being said, uh, until tomorrow, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and we'll see you then. God bless. Bye-bye.